This award was established in 1977 to recognize outstanding research by a pharmaceutical scientist and educator and is named in honor of the late Ernest H. Volweiler, former president and research director at Abbott Laboratories. Today we recognize Dr. Kathy Giacomini, professor at the University of California, San Francisco School of Pharmacy. A faculty member in the Department of Bioengineering and Therapeutic Sciences, a joint department at the UCSF Schools of Pharmacy and Medicine, Kathy is renowned for her pioneering research on the pharmacogenomics of membrane transporters, molecules involved in movement of drugs into and out of cells. To date, Kathy has published more than 250 publications and has been cited over 17,000 times. Among her more notable publications is a report of a workshop of the International Transporter Consortium, a multi-sector group of experts from industry, academia, and FDA, in which she serves a leadership role. This report has been cited more than 1,500 times and presents a decision framework for drug-drug interaction studies that is now part of the official guidance documents of both the FDA and the European Medical Agency. She is also the co-director of the UCSF Stanford Center of Excellence in Regulatory Science and Innovation, which is the first regulatory science and innovation center on the West Coast, whose research is dedicated to improving the development and approval of effective medical products. Under Kathy's leadership, the center is also committed to training the next generation of regulatory scientists through its wide array of courses, fellowships, and exchange programs. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Kathy Giacomini. Kathy? Thank you very much for that kind introduction. And there's my dog, Wally, um, up there. <laughs> He's always watching me. So um, it's a great honor to be a recipient of the 2018 AACP Volweiler Award. And in this short acceptance speech, I'm going to unfortunately read it so that I don't just wax eloquent or, or lack thereof. But anyway, so um, but I first want to thank the people who made this award possibly possible and hopefully give you some insights into why this particular award, the Volweiler Award, is so special to me. Uh, first, I want to thank the AACP and the Awards Committee for the work they do for the organization, and that's very much appreciated. And then I would like to thank my nominators, Joe Guglielmo, Tejal Desai, Les Bennett, Frank Zoka, and Deanna Kretz at UCSF. Um, you can be a great scientist, but I think everyone here knows that without your colleagues and friends who take the time to nominate you, you will never be honored or recognized with such a wonderful award as the Volweiler. So I thank all of them. And then I want to thank my academic mentors because I've always felt mentoring has been the most important part for me in my career. And Les Bennett, Terry Blaschke at Stanford, and Gary Levy now recently passed away. These individuals have meant so much to me and have taught me not only to do good research, but to think very strongly and do very good teaching and mentoring of my own postdocs and students. So I want to thank them for that. And finally, my family, my husband John, who's here with me today, and my children, Craig, Nick, and Alex, who you saw on some of those lovely pictures. Um, and they've always been there for me. They're always cheerleaders, but they're really your family is there when, when you're not getting your grants and when you get those bad teaching evaluations when you didn't mean to. And, uh, and uh, when your papers are rejected, they are there and, and they're always supporting you and through all sorts of other personal uh, struggles in your life. So I thank all of my uh, family and also my parents, and you saw their picture up there as well, who instilled in me a lifelong love of learning and of science and, yes, of pharmacy. 
So um, throughout my career, I've been honored with various awards, but the Volweiler is particularly special to me, and I'd like to tell you why. Though I don't practice pharmacy, I've spent my career, I was educated as a pharmacist and spent my career um, in a school of pharmacy. And I've been under several deans, and now with Joe, who is fabulous and supportive uh, dean in our school, who emphasizes the integration of basic sciences in our discipline uh, with the practice of pharmacy. And that was instilled in me. I've always thought of myself as a pharmacist scientist, even though I don't have a PharmD. I did get, back in the day, a BS in pharmacy. And I began with Gary Levy, who had a PharmD. And Gary instilled in all of us that what we did in research would influence the development of the practice of pharmacy. And so I began doing pharmacokinetic research, which is what Gary did. And um, that's how I think we all learned to therapeutic drug monitoring, things about the principles of drug dosing and drug development and, um, and also the principles of therapeutic drug monitoring. And then I transitioned to transporters. And transporters, as many of you know, many of them form the basis of clinically important drug-drug interactions. So doing that research also informed the practice of pharmacy. And then from transporters to pharmacogenomics and precision medicine. And that right now is transforming our uh, discipline. And I focused my research on genetic variation and transporters, but also other genes that underlie therapeutic drug response. And I've worked along some great colleagues, and the best of the people who are doing research in this area do not come from medical school schools. They're in pharmacy schools around the world. So Julie Johnson right here, Mary Relling, Bill Evans, these have been leaders in that field. So um, in closing, I want to thank AACP for this award. And I'd like to encourage all the young pharmacists who are in this room young, old alike, to do research relevant to drug discovery, drug development, and to the sciences that underlie the profession and the underpinnings of pharmacy. Thank you.